welcome. We are here with Professor Sverovic, Professor of Cardiology and Chair of the Internal Medicine at the University of Belgrade. Um, uh, professor, you were talking here about diabetes and the importance of fighting this uh, disease. WHO made it an important goal, a prominent role in the future years to fight the, the spread of this uh, disease. So, can you explain how this can be done in, uh, in, in the future? Uh, diabetes is considered to be one of the epidemic of the 21st century. And what we are talking now, we are talking about the deadly intersection between two epidemies, the epidemic of diabetes and the epidemic of cardiovascular disease. The cardiovascular disease uh, were uh, very early recognized to be associated uh, to the higher extent with uh, the diabetes, with glucose intolerance, meaning that the, the metabolism of glucose is disturbed. And uh, this clinical fact uh, is getting more and more pronounced because there are other factors which are giving us the whole spectrum of the disturbances in cardiovascular disease, starting from the uh, uh, in increased weight, low physical activity, uh, disturbed uh, blood pressure, high blood pressure, uh, high lipids, and high glucose. So. All this is giving us the mosaic which, which will practically give us the possibility to understand that only when we treat everything, we are going to be on the right way to heal this patient. However, among these so-called risk factors, diabetes is considered the most important one in the most dangerous one. And as you can see from the lecture, we are considering today diabetes to be the clinical equivalent of cardiovascular disease, which means when somebody has a diabetes, he obviously is having cardiovascular disease in most instances, meaning that he has coronary artery disease, the disease which can, him, which can kill him immediately, suddenly, in young age. And we'll get to drug treatment in a moment, but you also said that mm, drugs, that, that uh, diet and exercises are as important as drugs. Absolutely. The, the, the diabetes is not only the disease associated with the genetic susceptibility. This is the disease of our negligence, which means if we do everything what I mentioned before, and plus we are uh, smoking, then we are eating regularly, we are obese, then we are coming to the possibility that, that our body is working under unfavorable condition. Uh, and the study in the last five years, besides the drug which I was talking about and uh, you were witnessing that, that it's not so straightforward and successful, uh, what was found is that the, uh, losing the weight, getting closer to the every individual ideal weight. I'm not talking uh, purposely about the ideal weight because it's hard to achieve anybody who try to lose one or two or five kilos. <laughs> know how tough is that? I'm not talking about ideal weight. I'm talking the ideal weight for the person. As I pointed out, that's the weight which one can achieve. Meaning, if, if he, can, he can go down with the two, three, four kilos, it's, it's a great thing. That's another uh, fact. And even more important is physical activity. Physical activity is increasing the resistance, uh, is increasing the amount of insulin, lower the glucose, and giving us the possibility to uh, very early, on the natural way, improve the glycoregulation. And therefore, these two facts, cessation of the smoking, which is uh, absolutely necessary, uh, losing the weight, meaning close to ideal weight one can achieve, and, and uh, uh, physical activity, which is not hours and hours every day. This is 20 to, to half hour every day, modest according to your will and according to what you can achieve. So, so it is very important to talk with the patients. And then comes the, the uh, 
optimal medical therapy of, the, as I said, the whole cardiovascular problem and diabetes as well. And yet there are drugs that can help keep under control the glucose level and in general mm -hmm. diabetes and not necessarily all of them are dependent on insulin you That's were saying right, absolutely uh, we uh, diabetes is one of the most uh, uh, frequent disease in the world and therefore the human society is using a lot of resources to investigate the disease on both experimental and clinical ground. So we have excellent drugs but we, what we would like to do is to have a drug which will target several of the, of the mechanisms I was talking about, meaning high blood pressure, high lipids, high glucose. Uh, possible coronary artery disease. So we were not successful so far in finding that drug. However, we have a very good drug, and the key point is you should know what is quality of the glucose regulation in your body is. If you have the father or the mother or the grandfather who was diabetic, you need to be very careful. 